2010s. I uh, want to get a little video review from last weekend's match um, versus Celtic. Um, a very, very good performance, uh, solid win um, for the group. Uh, certainly want to take a look at a couple of things uh, that we discussed on the field and uh, make sure that we're uh, thinking about it, learning from it, and moving into this weekend's uh, armor matches um, with, with some of this in mind. So uh, we'll, we'll take a look first at just some of our build-up decisions. And, you know, what, what I want you to focus on is where all the players are, where all the opponents are, how many white shirts are in one area and where the open space is. So, you know, obviously if I'm going to say that, you know, the initial open space is in this area right over here, all of this space here. So maybe try it's a little bit more of a dropout. Alex, once you turn your body this way, you know, probably it won't be a good idea to try and turn back against the grain. So we've got to now try and find a pass. If it's not to Chaya, you know, can we play a diagonal, you know, into Naomi who's stepping up into this area uh, to get involved. So again, you see, you know, there's a potential to play to Chaya there. Um, doesn't happen. Um, so she gets back up and together. But then in the next sequence, this is the same possession. And that's why I want you guys to think about it, because we stay on the same side, you know, still the, the ball there. I know Chaya played it because uh, she was under pressure, but that ball to Naomi gets us really out of pressure, you know, even getting it back to Kaylin or playing it over here or even a diagonal ball from Naomi, Naomi up to, to Harlow. But again, it's a good back pass initially. Now, where are all the white jerseys that can uh, affect us and, and put us under a lot of pressure? They're all in this area right here. So now, again, the decision to maybe get the ball, Caitlin, you could probably be another five, 10 yards up since we have clear possession, you know, and that'll allow Ella to get wide or any of our outside packs to get wide. And now we can just get the ball around. And then that forces these four white jerseys here to have to run across the field. Um, so again, it's not a terrible effort if, if Emmy gets on that ball. It was a narrow field. So, you know, it's not a bad effort. It's just, a, you know, can we open our eyes and, and or check our shoulders and find open space to be able to play to the other side? Um, you know, because I'm pretty sure it's not the first narrow field we're going to play on, um, you know, throughout the course of the year. So same thing here. You know, we could see Chaya does a good job stepping into it, you know, Here's the situation where we've got the open space here. We've got maybe Kendall checking. If you can check back, maybe we can play out to Alex because we really do have them in a 4v2. Um, not a bad scenario here because Emmy's already forward, so now we can just play the ball into her. Um, so it worked out for us, but it was really because they cleared it to us, not because you know we made the play or, or took advantage of the space that was open. So good distribution out here, but you know, once we get this ball into Emmy's feet, maybe without having to take take all the space into these five white jerseys, you know, good job bouncing it back. Now is the situation, you know, Naomi or for I think all of us would agree if Kaylin, if you're here, then Naomi can be in this situation in, in that space. And now we're just playing out out and then you're in a 2v1 with Ella and then look who we have here wide open in the middle of the field um, to be able to split in the mid in the midfield so again Chai has to get into a tackle and, and again that's not something we want center backs to be doing especially when there's a white jersey here a white jersey here and a white jersey here that can transition to attack against just our one center back and Ella who would have to recover You know, so the same possession again, recognizing that when we get on the ball here, it's where's the decision, where's the open space. Now you can see that their players are all in the middle of the field defending us here. So now the wide area is clearly going to be the spot where we want to play. Look at the white jerseys. Maybe Naomi is a better option here to be able to play her into that or into Kaylin so we can get the ball because you can see all the open space is right there. So maybe if it's even Chaya, you're clipping a ball into Kendall or whoever the nine is at that moment, and we're able to get out of trouble there. Um, but again, you can see, let me back up and show you, you can see the space that is available right here, you know, that we could have been a little bit more successful in.
So pretty good scenario here. We just want to make sure we talk about the runs into the 18. Good security pass from uh, Riley there. We've got them. We've got 1v1, 1v1, and 1v1 right there. Um, so as we get the ball in, in behind, again, with Celine here, it's not a, it's a great turn. You know, maybe we can play into these players here who can also play Emmy, but Celine does a great job of turning. And now there's the gate. So we have the gate and we play her through. Now we've got our outside back ahead of our 10 and two of our forwards. And so this is why it's really important as the nine, whether Kendall, Celine, whoever it is, Harlow, you know, as the nine, as Emmy's doing this, we want to get to that near post and whether it's finishing it or laying it off or dummying it, because you'll see in this that Amy Lynn and Harlow both end up in the 18. So think about Kendall, if you take this player with you, now it's going to free up space for Amy Lynn. And I think we scored on it like that in the second half. But anytime an outside back serving the ball and everybody's in, and we have three players in a 1v1 inside the 18, one player at least has to play, has to make the run into the near post. So that's something just for you guys to think about. Um, we got a few clips of the first ball and covering um, that comes out uh, to our, our center backs and where our outside backs and sixes should be. You know, so this first one here, again, we don't, we're not really in a good spot to be able to cover um, or challenge and then cover the ball. So in this situation, you know, it, it almost bounces too many times where they're able to get it. And we like our chances. We're still 2v1 here. So there's nothing wrong with Naomi, you going in and putting in the challenge there. And then we just got to cover her a little tighter. You know, Emmy's tracking and then LL, you, and you want to just slide over into that area there. Overall, it works out for us. Um, but as you guys know, we do uh, concede a goal on it um later on in the match um so it's something we want you guys thinking about the ball is going to be served away it's a little better try coming forward getting on the ball and then finding a security pass now can we open them up a little bit that would be ideal okay and we do open them up you know for celine and i know this isn't first ball cover and everything but celine maybe in this situation because of the way emmy's being pressured you want to maybe come back a little bit towards the ball and then receive it so that maybe Kendall can then see this situation here. But again, we get on the ball, good ball into Kendall here. Kendall, we've got to either lay this off or flick the ball into Emmy there, who's then 1v1 with the goalkeeper. But on the loss of possession, you can see what's going to end up happening. And just about now. Same thing here. First ball goes in. Much better challenging of the ball and great cover. And as we play the ball into space, it could potentially create something. So again, we want to certainly show you some positive and, you know, show you guys doing a good job as well as, you know, the coaching point on that, you know, getting to the first ball and covering. So for especially center backs and outside backs, you know, definitely rewatch that a couple of times so that you can see the moments, like what it looks like from the opponent's delivery, how hard they're kicking the ball, you know, when they, when their leg goes back, you know, what, what should your positioning be? And that, and that'll be the keys for you guys. So transition to defend these moments here. And, and the key thing I want you guys to pay attention to is now we're attacking and you can see where our center backs are. And then you can see how far up our forward is. Okay, she's coming to the screen here. Yeah, we've lost possession. And now look at where Harlow is right there on top of the 18. So right here, all the way back, you know, so almost half the field to where our center backs are. And against a good team with good possession and, and good transition to attack, you know, we don't want to leave that much space open for them to be able to play. So once Harlow goes on that run, you know, we want to have at least, you know, we want to have at least our 10 working here, you know, our, our wingers coming back in and then our two sixes and then our back four, you know, in this type of shape, 
as opposed to, you know, everybody spread out all over the place, you know, from one center back, you know, to the forward, it, it seems like it's a little too spread out for that for us. Um, so just back it up there. And now they have open space. There's a place for them to play the ball in behind. There's another place for them to play the ball in behind there. So again, the solution is once, once the ball gets to the goalkeeper, we want to get everybody up and make sure we're taking advantage of this space right here with at least eight, eight to nine of our field players defending in that area and making it really difficult for them to find gaps and play through. Again, it doesn't amount to anything for them, but as we as we talked about, they're, eventually they are going to score a goal, you know, in the same situation. So again, look at where our forwards are here, and then you'll see our center backs come into the picture right there. Okay, so again, as one player, an, a right back is coming up, and again, this we've been talking about this a lot. Let me actually put the dots there so as i think that's ella is there our three other defenders want to look like this so that any ball that comes through there can be one challenge and then cover and cover and again what ends up happening is it's just bouncing all over the place and it's an individual effort from you know the player who scores a nice goal and you know hats off to them but we could have avoided it a lot a, a lot earlier Here's a situation where we've got to start, again, thinking about our forwards and thinking about where our back line is. This space right here is dangerous, and we've got to protect the space. And, and it's not the end of the world if an outside back goes forward to help press, but if the six or the eight or the 10 or a, a center back aren't coming in and covering, you know, with our other center back and then our right back coming over, then we can't have Emmy in this situation or the left back go forward because she's just leaving a player wide open. Okay. Doesn't hurt us, but again, against an opponent that, you know, can put a good cross in and finish, you know, and again, same situation here. You start to see as the ball goes out in, as the ball travels in, everybody's eyes are focused on the ball and important piece because it's close to the center of the goal mouth. But we've also got to make sure that this area is protected in behind. And then our right back is obviously dealing with that space in behind because once it becomes an easier ball in, it creates a, a potential scoring opportunity and Kayla makes a great save on it. So again, just something to think about if I'm if I'm an outside back, the space in behind me is the most dangerous if they get a player there in behind with one v zero. So if there is a player there and there's a potential for that player to get the ball, I've really got to be mindful of it. Same situation here. And what I want you to pay attention to, again, think back to what I was saying about our forwards and our center backs and how collective how collective we are in, in terms of how we're defending. You know, right here is center or outside back, center back, center back, oops, sorry, left back, midfielder, midfielder, you know, wing, forward, etc. Okay. So once this happens and we don't have a quality shape with our back four and our two sixes or our, our six and eight, once this ball goes in here, if a center back doesn't challenge her, either center back, this is the most dangerous ball here for her to play in behind or her to play in behind. And that's what we've really got to be aware of. And again, if this player delivers this ball right there, that's a problem. Okay. So again, outside backs, you want to be facing the play and backpedaling a little bit so that you can recognize if she's going to play the ball um, as opposed to reacting and having to sprint back. And again, she doesn't get it there, but that's something for this weekend that'll be very important for us. Again, once the once I think that's Ella or Emmy there, once they jump, you know, we've got to protect, slide, slide, Bella, slide, you know, Riley, slide, and make sure that we have at least a back three and a midfielder, you know, there to protect it. Because as as we started to slide, now you can see there's a wide open player on the back post. She doesn't get it but she could have, and, you know, that would be a dangerous scenario. And then the last one, um, 
again, goalkeeper punt. You can see where our forwards are. You can see where our center backs are right about the half. Not, not a bad thing. Pretty good shape initially. And then once she gets in behind here, we look pretty unorganized here with how our back line is, um, as opposed to I'm just back up a little bit, you know, making sure again, can we look, you know, like this situation here and the six protecting, can we look like that? So we're not looking at our own goalkeeper or looking at the goal. And she gets in behind because we didn't drop back. And then, you know, Chaya makes a good, you know, rescue defending effort and gets fouled but again we want to try and avoid that so real quick uh, corners um pretty good short corner here from you guys but what we forgot is we need to make sure that one of the players for, a there's nobody in the 18 you know so we need a player on the goalkeeper a player at least running to the six and then we need this short run here to be able to make this player follow or leave her position. The, the pass to Emmy isn't a bad thing here, or Celine, uh, Celine to Emmy. Emmy, you can probably cross it right in and be aware if you pass it back to Celine, she might be offside, but not bad in terms of how we set it up. But again, look at the amount of players we have in the 18, you know, versus we have four right here. So again, just something to think about uh, as a reminder from set piece training last week. Uh, this situation here, Again, if Celine, I think that's you or so if that's you, as you're on the ball here, once you see Avery coming here and nobody's following her, maybe just pass her the ball and, and she can turn and go to goal. You know, we want to recognize these situations. Not one person switched with with Avery in that scenario. So we want to think about that a little bit next time. If they don't come out with you, then just give her the ball and, and let her serve it in. It's a great delivery um, from Avery. but think about the scoring opportunity we could, could have created. Um, same thing here, you know, you already see Avery's coming over and in that situation, you know, just place the ball here, pass her the ball. This one's tying her shoes. This one's facing this direction. You know, this one's walking back. This one's, you know, figuring out who to mark. They're not paying attention. So anytime a team is asleep like that, get the ball and play right away and, and dribble to the goal. So again, now we did do it correctly in terms of having that first player. And so I, what I want you to do is I just want you to watch this player here so you can see the effect it has when we, when we come out, when we come out, it really helps to create some space. And if this player can get in there, we put, we get a scoring opportunity or, or if there's a deflection. So again, overall, there's, you know, good, good, solid performance from you guys. Just wanted to give you a couple of thoughts. Um, you know, any questions, don't hesitate to ask. We'll see you soon.